Let's see how long I can go before I get interrupted by animals. Hi guys, welcome to Off the 10th. My name is Chris and today we are going to do a beer from a brewery that I actually really enjoy and I haven't had uh, a different beer from this company in a while. This is what we're doing right here. Yes guys, today from Sloop Brewing out of Hopwell Junction, New York, we are looking at Techno Viking. It's a New England style IPA that's coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. It's in a one pint can or a 475 milliliter can. Uh, IBUs are unknown right now. Uh, this one is brewed with who knows what kind of hops, but we've got uh, milk, sugar, uh, flaked wheat and malted wheat. So we know that this is probably gonna be juicy. If not juicy, it's gonna probably be at least Pretty good mouthfeel on it anyway. Uh, I really dig the artwork on this can. Look at that techno Viking. That's pretty awesome. I like that. That's nice. It's cool. Cool, yo. Um, yeah. So I got, you know, I got Bailey the dog here. I got Dexter the dog upstairs. They're both up there. Katniss is down here. Dexter doesn't like Katniss. And when Dexter sees Katniss, Dexter goes crazy and he starts barking. And if I make Katniss meow while she's here, then Dexter's gonna start barking and then I might as well just throw the review or the my own opinion quickie right out the window. All right, Sloop Brewing. Yes, I haven't had a Sloop Brewing beer in a while. I have had, um, oh my gosh, the, the one that's always in, the, in Wegmans. I get that all the time. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I might flash it across the screen. Yeah, that's the one. So. I get that one all the time now. The only thing is I haven't had another sloop in a while and I'm so glad I found this one. I picked this one up over at Premier Gourmet and yeah, she's hazy. She's hazy right off the pour. I love it. Good old Techno Viking. Let's see what this beer is all about. Let's bring that back. Let's bring that back now. All right, so it poured off super yellow. It's hazy. It poured off with a nice bright white head, probably about a... I'd say a finger and a half. It's it's quick. It's quick. I was gonna say it's quickly dissipating, but it's actually sticking around. Uh, yeah, it's lacing up nicely on the glass. This is hazy. This is cold. There's some chill haze on here because it's the way I'm drinking this beer. Um, other than that, let's smell it. Oh fuck! This is all mango. Mango all day, folks. Mango. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of a passion fruit on this one. And a slight peach with a little bit of um, a little bit of a dankness on there. It's kind of giving me. I want to smell. The smell is giving me a little bit of a hot burn on this. I don't know how new this can is, but um, yeah, there's no date on it. But it's giving me that little bit of a orange, uh, an orange, uh, fucking uh, onion and garlic smell to it. But you know what? It could be just new, it could be just perfect. We're gonna find out in a second, guys. I can't wait to try this beer. Cheers. Cheers. For, try this beers. Cheers. Beers? There's only one fucking beer. Judges? Yeah, it was fun. Cheers. Well, I'll tell you right off the hop, Sloop Brewing does it again, in my opinion. This is fucking dynamite. Mouthfeel first. This is creamy, it's smooth, flaked wheats, flaked oats, probably more oats and wheat than I can even imagine in this one. Mouthfeel on this one, high end and medium. This is fucking going down so easy. 6% alcohol, nah, yeah, can't tell. You can't at all. Um, let's talk about the carbonation for a second. Not super carbonated. It's super easy to drink. It's almost like I should have physics this one, but only got the one can. Didn't think of it till just right now. Uh, taste on this one, same thing covered over from the smell, um, except for the one thing that I was worried about. It is not giving me any hot burn on this one, meaning that that onion and garlic taste you get from something that's an IPA like this that's a little bit too fresh, maybe too early to drink. This one is just fucking fantastic. This one has all kinds of that melon now in it and also has all kinds of um, 
a little bit more peach in this taste one and this one oh my god i can't even talk in this taste you're also getting a little bit of that pineapple and you're getting of course that mango that i pulled right off the hop on that smell guys this is fucking so good wow i can't believe i don't buy more sloop when i can oh wait i know why because it's not distributed as much as i want it to be I wonder how far Hopwell Junction, New York is. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Anyone? No one knows? Well, let me know guys in the comments below whether you've had this beer from Sloop Brewing or if you've had anything else from Sloop Brewing. Let me, tell me what your thoughts on the actual brewery are. Cause you know what? Again, haven't had a bad beer from these guys. They're still way up there in my rankings of one of the best breweries I've had since I started going back over the States and grabbing beers. Anyway, like the video guys, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys can watch me just fucking gush all over Sloop Brewing. Yeah, that's not weird. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace out. Bye-bye, guys.